And with a great deal of coincidence, a new gentleman's club is about to open this week near Glenbrook Mall. Some city council members are not happy about it. News Channel 15's Kai Torpasoa talked with city leaders today about the opening of Club 44. When Councilman Tom Didier saw the sign go up for Club 44, he thought it was a nightclub that he could handle. But once he found out it's a strip club, he said that type of establishment has no business being in that part of town. Fort Wayne City Councilman Tom Didier has more strip clubs in his district than any other council member. Club 44 will be the fifth, and it's right across the street from Glenbrook Mall. We as council people really can't do anything in itself, but overall we're, you know, we're just disappointed. And, you know, especially with the, you know, the new LED sign, and, you know, we don't want it to look like Las Vegas. Fellow council member Russ Yale also doesn't approve. A strip club opening up near a mall is bad for our community, it's bad for the mall, it's horrible for the property values, and it presents a terrible image given that that's on a gateway uh, road for, to our community. According to the councilman, there are zoning laws that keep strip clubs out of retail zones like Glenbrook. But in this case, Club 44 got grandfathered in because the closed down business at 4030 Coldwater Road was also a strip club. According to this grandfather clause, the new strip club owner would have to get a permit within a year of the former one closing to legally use the building. And to the councilman's frustration, that's exactly what happened. You know, how many do we need? Seriously. And, and you know, in the city of churches, that's what I've always thought it as. How many of these do we really need? And again, it's the breakdown of the family. We're not going to sit there and cry over spilled milk. Uh, we are going to ask how this happened. We are going to learn whether or not there's anything we can do or whether there's anything we could do in the future. At Tuesday's council meeting, they'll discuss what can be done about zoning laws in these type of situations. They'll also talk about laws regarding LED lights and signs of a sexual nature. Kaitor Pessoa, News Channel 15.